Hey guys, it's Jake with AG Russell Knives. Hope you guys are doing okay, being safe, staying inside. I know it's crazy times. I'm gonna try to put out more videos. Uh, just kind of give you something to watch. But uh, today we're doing a new over overview of a knife we've had for a while now, the AG Russell USA made Drop Point Hunter. You have your choice of black or green G10 handles here. It is a stone wash finish, so you don't feel bad about scratching it up and using it. Um, it is a, we were, we partnered with a manufacturer here in the U.S. and we are using D2 tool steel. Now, as I've said in other videos, D2 is a great steel, excellent edge retention, holds the edge for a long, long, long time. It'll just keep going. You don't need to sharpen it nearly as often. Uh, it does tend to be, does tend to be a little bit harder to sharpen depending on your sharpening experience. It has larger carbides. Um, which can be difficult to kind of get the hang of when you're sharpening. Really great at getting a nice toothy edge. So if you like a toothy edge, D2 is a solid pick. And I think toothy edges for me are the best hunting. It's the, it's the, I'd rather have a toothy edge when I'm hunting and a fine edge when I'm doing fine detail work. So it just depends on your application here. Uh, but anyways, D2 is a tool steel. It is technically a non-stainless steel. So, but it, it's right on the edge of being stainless, so it's a lot more stain resistant from like a 1095 or something like that. You don't need to worry about it nearly as much. Do keep it wiped down from liquid. It, it's definitely not stainless. I mean, even stainless, you want to keep wiped down from liquid. Now on the handles here, G10, just a very slight texturing. It's, it's mostly smooth, but there is a slight texturing to it. Very thin handles, so very lightweight. It is full tang. We've milled out the inside to help lighten this side of the blade because it's heavier than, the, than the, the blade side is. So it's gonna balance right behind this screw here, maybe right on the screw. Yeah, right on the screw there. Four and a quarter inches there. I have larger than average hands and I'm gonna fit inside the contours. Right there, you can see it's got, it's gonna, got a little flare here to keep you from falling off and on the front to keep you from pushing too far forward. And it's got a little bit of a, a swell there for your hand there. So I fit within that contour. If you have even larger hands, you can put your rest your pinky on this back side here. And that's, that's pretty comfortable too. It's got a lanyard hole. It has a drop pouch leather sheath. This is my favorite type of sheath. I love drop pouch sheaths. Um, I just don't like messing with the snaps. It fits in solidly. It does stick out from the handle like two inches or something like that, which I was worried that was really going to bug me. Uh, it didn't as much as I thought it would. Um, not too bad. The thin handle isn't my favorite. I think it's a little thin for my tastes. So. Uh, but uh, it does hold in the sheath really well. No wiggle at all, side to side, up and down. You can, um, I'm sure the sheath will loosen up over time, but I don't, don't foresee any, any wiggle to this at all. It's gonna hold tight, so. You're not gonna lose it in the woods uh, from it falling off. You might put it down, but it's not gonna fall off. As I said, full flat grind, very sharp. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thanks, you, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments if there's a particular knife that we carry that I can overview and I'll, I'll put that on the list of knives to overview. Thanks for watching, have a good one.